Ajise. Ah, well. Um, uh, uh, Mr. Mediaco, are you there? Great. Um, haven't heard what's gone on so far in the light of what we experienced. We're now looking towards the Black Stars. By your estimation, is there a need to have a Black Stars management committee? But if I, for the records, I was a member of the Black Stars management committee okay. in 1990, 1992. Mm. And we were doing it for the love of it. But they were not taking But in some, in some, what I say is that there's so much money in football these days that the managers should be very careful. We must make sure we get people upright position to control our game. This is what I want to see, say in short. Hmm. Guys, okay. we are in-house. Yeah. Is there? Well, in, in my view, you know, as a management council, you have to ask what, are, uh, what is their job description? What do they do as 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 a management? What do they do? Yes, what do they do? Nothing. And what they do is it relevant to the course of the Black Stars, or is it possible for somebody who is a permanent employee at the FA to be able to do that? These are questions you need to ask. I need to see their job description, and it's after seeing the job description, then you can say, oh no, 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 this is not that relevant, or this is football keeps uh, evolving. Mm -hmm. Things have changed. There are administrative uh, uh, roles that will have to be played. Uh, like I say preparing the team to go, uh, arranging for friendly matches and all that. I don't know if this is, this, these are part of their uh, their job descriptions, but uh, or their job description. But if it's, if the job description is well okay, spelled do out, we have management teams, for no. the national teams in England. No, but well, what Germany? In, 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 do we have? Yeah, so 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 if. If we don't have that, what are the other 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 positions or other structures in place uh, which let's play see, this this role? So let's so, the best so, practices so, of the world. So, but, best but but it's not always best practice. You must also have best fit. So we in Ghana can say that look, if we are going to have the management team uh, a management team for the Black Stars in place, we expect them to do A B C D, or maybe from what has happened, we don't need them, of, or we want to restructure or redefine their roles mm -hmm. to suit mm -hmm. our current purpose. No. If we decide that the, the, the roles are their role or their roles are not that relevant, then we scratch it. If we think that what they are doing is, is relevant, but there are other Good. things that have you crept have, in. There are other you, things you, that have you, crept. You've talked about money. Yes. We have money being for black stars, local black stars, black BTS, black satellites, black starless, yes. black queens, black princess, black uh, uh, no. uh, maidens. So, so, so if black we know, maidens. if we realize that this, this, this is a drain, yeah. if we realize that this is a drain, then we, 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 we and, and so then we assign the roles properly and use the money to develop other, other sports disciplines. Thank you. See, it is us as a country sitting looking at our resources and see how we can manage with our resources we have allowed people to a lot of people to get away with with murder and that is why this thing is perpetuating so we at the moment that's why i keep saying what are the causes how do we address these causes to move forward so if you have identified this as a country if we say we are doing a review and we are we have identified this as a this management position as a as a problem Let's sit down and take a decision about it. Let's not just talk about it. The state should not just look on. And so they say, oh, this is, uh, this is a no-go area for the state. This is a no-go area for the state. But when it comes to payment of money... It's Cobran who should address it. When it comes to the payment of money... I ask, yes. I ask, yes. yes. And but I've, I've, I've uh, said we have talked, yes. Yeah. If it is no, not relevant... I want to get your opinion because I need your opinion. Carl, I think there's a certain myth about so-called state interference in the affairs of the national teams. And I guess that is what Alka Khan was talking about, that he re wrote an article recently and asked, what is interference? Uh, I remember uh, when Honorable E.T. Menza was in power, people spoke about interference. He said it wasn't interference, it was intervention. intervention yeah. you know, but I'm just wondering how you expect to run the affairs of the national teams and exclude uh, the state from that. I don't think so. And I remember very well, during the days of uh, His Excellency J. Kufo, a similar issue cropped up. And I remember he sent a delegation to FIFA to find out why the state will fund all the national teams, provide all the national infrastructure, and then the state should just look on and concern. I mean, as funds are dissipated, 
the way the teams are run. And I think FIFA's reaction was that FIFA has never ever said the state should not get involved in national. It was the same with Professor Nose. Professor Nose is the same. He went, he went to FIFA headquarters That's himself. Right. He went to Zurich. What FIFA does not want is for the state to directly determine who, who runs, should manage yeah, who runs uh, the, the national the, 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 the football. Yeah, 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 but yeah, beyond yeah. that, let's not create this myth that only football people have a right to talk about football and to run football the way we did it fit. I don't think it is right. And that is why FIFA decided that we should form the public, public interest, interest and accountability committee. The committee. <laughs> it's never been formed. Very good point. Yeah. But it's never been formed. It's a black management committee. It's, it, it's, listen, I remember we had this conversation with Augustine Himfo, uh, quite knowledgeable, former national star. And uh, he didn't think that we needed management teams for every oh, yeah, single no, national no, team. No. Because oh. when you check the number of national teams we have. that we have, yeah. as is enumerated, you have the yeah. Black Star, the Black Meteors, Black the Satellites, Princess. or all of them. <laughs> he thought we needed probably, be pro like a five, seven member team for all the national teams. Yes. For and all this, the national teams. And this is a function. They work under the technical directorate. The so, team. so why don't you create a department mm -hmm. yes. and employ people but, but, yes, for that? But, 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 yeah. but that's, that's that problem I told on you. That's what somebody raised up with me. Yeah. What is the GS doing there? That's right. The what general secretary. It's by the deputy general secretary. But no, no they, they, they are basically for administration. Yes. Yeah, but yes. they are supposed to be handling. They can get people to know it. No, 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 no the one is talking about the function of the come directly under the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the technical directorate. That's right. Of the football association. So there should be people there permanently. Yes. So you see, all that right. they do is to plan activities for the yes. various national teams. Yes. There should so, be people who are yes. employed there. So, so, so yes. what does it bring about this? So that yes. is why that is why we need to find out what are their roles. Do we find their roles uh, re relevant? If their roles are relevant, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the system we have in place is it something appealing to us, or we think that we need to change the system? If we think that they are milking the, 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 the state uh, so much, why can't we just create a, a department and appoint competent people on merit yeah. to? to assign them these roles and pay them and I, if you do that maybe it will be much much better than what we are experiencing now so this time we all say football is business are we employing the right people to run the no, business no 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 no, no, no we're no, not no. so we need to employ people on, on merit yeah so oh, if uh, we want to change but, not doing it, are we? Carl, but I, I think uh, yeah, yeah sorry but i think we're about any the program uh i would humbly want to suggest that it's not all gloom and doom for the national team. We have an impending match against the Super Eagles. I have not thrown in the towel yet. Yes, the last uh, outing in Cameroon was very, very disastrous. I thought Kao Ka and the producer will be magnanimous enough to say, let's continue this discussion. <laughs> yeah, let's we are, tomorrow. We, we, let's we continue see, tomorrow. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, you see, 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 you see, you see, 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 see I have a lot more to say. Excuse me. You see, wait, 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 when I'm hosting people who have hosted programs before. <laughs> That's the problem. We forget we are not the uh -huh. host. <laughs> no <laughs> doubt about it. Listen, listen, you don't need to get permission. At the beginning, this program is going to continue until we play the first match. So we come back here next week. Yes. So we can, you, can, you can rest assured about that one. And incidentally, the director says we can go on for another 20 minutes. Oh, okay, fine. Okay. So you see, as Uncle Ken said, they were on the management committee for free. That's right. Now, Mm -hmm. And so they had important roles to play. Now, when times changed, people decided that, oh, these were old folks, just like we did our time. Mm -hmm. We did a lot of things for free. They said, no, no, we're not going to do that for free. Yeah. We're going to use the system and use it wisely and make a lot of money. Yeah. So if we as a country uh, has, uh, have realized that, no, that this position is being abused, what do we do? Yeah. Do we the change self, it? The self-interest is so much. It's so much. Which is most unfortunate. Ken spoke about his uh, involvement in the management team. You know, interestingly, in 1984, 84, uh, Lotte Akayensu yeah. was there, and they appointed me as a member of the Black Stars technical team. I was so young, I didn't even understand it, and I backed off. But in 1995, I remember I, I was a member. I remember you walking around in Winneba when they were camping. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I was a member of the Black Stars management team in 1995, but as you said, it was purely for the love of the sport. Over the years, because as Uncle Ken constantly hammered, that because there's so much money, money in yeah. football, people think they go in out there to check how much they can siphon from the system, which is most unfortunate. Is breeding so much corruption, so much greed, 
self-interest. Decisions are not taken based on the national interest. Decisions are taken based on what those individuals can get from those decisions, which is most unfortunate. So, for example, unfortunately, sometimes even the caliber and quality of materials invited to the national team mm -hmm. is dependent on who is gaining what. Yes. I know, growing up, when the national team was about time to call the national team, everybody knew who and who were going mm -hmm. to be picked, yeah. purely on merit. These days, unfortunately, somehow, it's about who you know, who can pull the right strings, and how well you are connected. It does not serve our nation well, to the extent that that is why after every national call-up, you find a number of agitations, people wondering why player A or player B. I can understand. We all have our opinions, divergent views about who qualifies to be in the national team. It will continue to happen. I mean, football being yeah. what it is. Mm. But there are certain players you know have such quality, you cannot drop them from the national team. And there are certain players to you and I know do not deserve to be part of the national team. And are there, and you're wondering, how did we get to this point? Quabra, but as I indicated, Quabra, Quabra, I have not... I don't, I don't like when you use the word wondering. Because this, you and I know, that people... You have just said it, self-interest. Yeah. If I am managing a player, and I'm a member of the FA, you think I will not want my player to be in the national team? Yeah, but it's obvious. Yes, yeah. I, I, it's I mean, obvious. I mean, I mean, so self-interest. So, 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 so it comes back to my question: If this situation uh, was the case in in the UK, mm. okay, <clears throat> the uh, but we do the, not happen. The three lions. Mm. If let's assume a hypothetical situation, mm. if this was the case happening in the UK mm. or in any of these advanced countries, do you think the state will stay? Will look no, on no, no, recently, we, we, four, four, years ago, four years ago, yeah, the, the Minister of Sports in the UK told the football administration that if they don't address the issue of, uh, 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 let me see, uh, the word she used, uh, 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 Racism, 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 racism and all those things. That they are going to, government is going to cut the money support that, that they, they yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's, that's my point. You you see, these things have persisted because the state has taken a back state. Because Kwabna has just told you, people have created that myth who are the and that fear. Who that, are the people? That's why I said Kwabna should, Kwabna should be the one to address <laughs> it because so, he's the president so, of SWAT. So, <laughs> he's the president of SWAT. Many of the time, he's the sports I find it amazing the state, that we, the, the state, you see, the state governs the market. The state is bigger than the everybody. The state governs everything. So if the state, if there's a problem in a particular state or a country, and the government or the state is staying aloof and shying away from what people will say, then the state is shaking its responsibility. I agree with you. This is my problem. I agree with you. This is it's just like GBC. If people are not coming to work and they are late to work, they are not working as expected, and no action is being taken, you blame the manager. You blame the managing director. Mm -hmm. So it's as simple as that. Going forward, there are a lot of things that we have to sit down as a nation and say enough is enough. Yeah. These have been the causes. Let's find a way of addressing them. Look at the way we treat our own coaches when they take the, they take on the national mm -hmm. team. Look mm -hmm. at what how uh, Senegal stuck to Cisse for eight years. Koku, let me now say, Cisse Koku, let has me won them the trophy. Koku, I'm happy look, at, look at how we Koku, treat Alice, our but own the question people. Is there. Let me tell you something. Koku, see Koku, Koku, you see the issue is this. In as much as we continue to appoint people based on pat patronage, we shall have problems. Two, I believe that it's a football is a specialized area. If I am into sports medicine, my business is purely sports medicine. If you are into uh, writing, your business is purely broadcast writing. If you are into administration, your business is purely administration. If Carr is into technical, his business is purely technical in all jurisdictions. There should never be a case where somebody is a club owner, he's an FA member, he's a player agent, he's a technical agent. Is it happening in Ghana? 
I'm just asking you. Then you will be the only stranger in Jerusalem. Just, I'm just asking. Um, uh, about this. Let me get asking. it. Let me, it's let happening me. life. Let me get It's <laughs> happening. Let me, let me get to Ken. And Kobe Ambers it. Let me get to Ken. And these uh, are the issues that I think that we must all address. Because if you do that, people become jack of all trades. Let me get to Ken. And they don't, they don't seem to understand the fact that other people have knowledge and ideas that they can also yes, bring There's a very important issue, and I know we can't exhaust this, that we'll have to discuss, and we'll discuss it today, at least quarter hour the end of today. Okay. The business of so-called juju, which works oh. in the Twitter and so much. So, Ken, um, when you were when you were with the black, I know that by all means, when you were... He's at written the, about it before. At, oh, yeah. <laughs> As a sports journalist, you wrote about it. But in terms of when you became a member of the Black Stars Management Committee, yeah. did you see hear about a doing b and c making sure that station uh, this leg chat so that i wouldn't play in a match <laughs> no, no, no. We, 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 uh, professor mills was our chairman and we have we only four and me myself major lassen and then later uh, attacker managing director yeah. we were just seven as a guy between the uh, it's still the ethic, you know, from the team. The, in fact, it was Black Matures and Blasters. Mm. So I, I was in charge of it. I took the team to uh, Malaysia. So that, that's where I met them. Uh, <laughs> in Newland. It's all right. Leave it there. Leave it there. Barcelona. Malaysia. 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 Mauritius. We went to Mauritius <laughs> before. <laughs> No, I mean, no, 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 I mean, we're just there, we love the sport. I mean, I didn't know we we're going to get an appearance at the <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Like, um, uh, me is saying, there's so much football now, I'm telling you, and we should call a spade a spade, not a guard instrument, and then make sure that we get honest, upper people to run our football. The question is, how do you find the honest, um, upright people? How do you find the honest, upright people, Ken? Uh, I'm sure Kwame will help. <laughs> you see, uh, me, my view as a management consultant is that give people their job descriptions, as me said, give them the yeah. KPIs, and pay them what they deserve to have. That's all. Yes. Pay you them what they, they so deserve to have. So, hi, I don't believe in... Uh, 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 what do you call it? Getting for free. Mm -hmm. I don't believe in that. Get the person who is competent and qualified to do it, assign him his job descriptions and what have you, give him what he deserves. If he doesn't perform, you fire Fine. him. That's okay, it. it's good. very simple. Good. KPI set. Is that, uh, Juju. Ken. Juju. You're talking about Juju. Yeah. <laughs> but Ken, what were you saying? Yeah, okay. Okay, Ken. Is Ken, were you saying something? Okay. Someone... No, 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 not to pay. But they can also tell what they are receiving as now. No, should be determined by the state. Yes. You work for the state. Uh, oh. uh, I think they have it. So, yes. should it be on the coefficient? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Yes. All right. Yeah. So that is your yeah. 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 I mean, look. I'm right. 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 Before the issue, yeah. 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 Before the issue of Juju, uh -huh. I think I could make an important point about appointing the right people, giving them uh, okay. roles, uh -huh. whatever. But if and, and spoke about the fact that there's so much corruption, referees are being bribed, and you need to clean the system. There must be some sanity. But the bigger question is that. If the very people perpetuating this crime are the same people running the FA, who checks who? Who watches the watchman? So, so let's do the Russian system. So, so while we are there watching, somebody else is yeah, watching. But it's a big somebody else is watching. Yeah, it, it, it's, 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 it's a bigger matter. It's, it's, it's a bigger conversation yeah, we need yeah, to have. Yeah. Yes. You know, but regarding this this Jew issue, I do not think that is something that we should sweep under the carpet. Unfortunately, if you're not close to the Black Stars, you may want to dismiss it. But it's a reality, the Black Stars. And it didn't start now. As far back as 1991, you know, uh, you know, I've been very closely associated with the Black Stars, always in camp with them. And I remember very well that in 1977, during, before the Cup of Nations, mm -hmm. we had a pastor at Men's Chrome. So all he did was to just pray for the team anytime we're going. That's as far as I remember. 
over the period around 1981, now a so-called spiritualist will be brought to come, and before we go for matches, we would surround a uh, candle, be praying. And I remember very well before we played against Zambia, mm. Georgia Tess days, mm -hmm. uh, a certain chanting, we all had to repeat those things. And I remember Alimau, Alimau, Shankara, Shankara, we repeating those things. We <laughs> weren't speaking in tongues. I don't what? know. Ali Mao. Ali Mao. Ali Shankara. Shankara. <laughs> Ali Baba in the 40 tips. <laughs> and I remember we went and lost that match. Tony Bo was a striker at the time. Pukuti and others. And Jojata was so furious, he attacked that spiritualist. And the blacks was unfortunate. Again, I remember very well uh, during the days of Atosti, mm. as the then secretary for youth in sports. We went to Cote d'Ivoire. I don't want to mention names, but Opokunti was the captain of the team, and we were told to go to, the team flew to Cote d'Ivoire, we were told to go to uh, Cape Coast to see a setting spiritualist, and when we went... That was 84. Okay. 84. That's right. Cote d'Ivoire match. Cote d'Ivoire. The woman told us we had to wait for a while because the angel had traveled. <laughs> <laughs> and we had to go to the beach to sit under coconut tree for so many hours, came back eventually, the angel had arrived, so she said the match was a very difficult one, but we're going to lose by two goals to now, but she had managed to change the score, so gave us uh, a <laughs> bottle of water to go and do stuff, we lost the match by two goals to now, and these things have been going on, unfortunately, at this level, it's a major problem in the national team. You guys have no idea mm -hmm. how it's destroying the black stars. Yeah. Unfortunately, for players who play their trade abroad, I'm just wondering why they believe so much in this superstition. And some argue that, of course, I shouldn't forget that before they went to Europe, they're from this part of the world. But the sad truth of the matter is that if you know the extent to which this is destroying the black stars. And I'll give you a specific example. I won't go into details because I've privileged information which is not supposed to be shared uh, to the public. But in Gabon, Equatorial Guinea, certain things happened within camp that horrified the then manager of the site, Lavi. And that is why in his report, confidential report, he inserted that the effort must take steps to disabuse the minds of the players of the use of Juju. Because everybody was talking about Juju. How certain players were using Juju against them. It was ridiculous. I remember very well, as I said, I won't go into details, but John Pencil happened to be the only one who rose up against his colleagues and wondered how any one of them could believe in this rubbish. But it's something that is festering in the national team. And I believe that if need be, either very, very serious psychologists must work on the psyche of these players about the importance to just dwell on the technicalities and your ability and all that and leave the rest to the Almighty God. But unfortunately, to the extent that certain players will not wear certain numbers even in camp, <laughs> certain players will not go near certain players. Oh. Some were so scared they had to leave their rooms to go and sleep in other rooms. It's horrible. And I'm saying that this is something, in my candid opinion, humble opinion, is disturbing the team so much so that I believe we must confront it. And if the FA can arrange, I don't know how they're going to do that, but it's important for serious mind psychologists yeah. to work on the psyche of these players. Because we have a game, an impending game. I know a lot of people have thrown uh, their hands in despair. I have not given up. I personally believe Nigeria are beatable. Until we play those two legs, I'm not going to give up. I still believe we are capable of qualifying for the World Cup. Before we went to the Cup of Nations in Cameroon, I didn't believe we were going to win. I didn't believe it. But I also didn't think we would play so abysmally. At least in a group that involved Comoros and Gabon, I was confident we would sail from that group. Although we're not going to win. I didn't think we could win. But when when those things are preparing very well you are depending yeah. on yeah you, no, you, no, you, that's what i'm saying we should, we should, we should work yeah. on that mm. but i'm saying that we have an impending game and it cannot be all gloom and uh i don't believe that i think that there is an opportunity for us to it's a <laughs> win the day
the, this Quite. is a dab, and I'm confident that if we do the right things with the right approach, the Jay are very, very beatable. Okay. Quite, now, you see, what, you, you, what you, ad, you advocated for, to me, is a immediate solution. Yeah. Trying to get a psychologist to disabuse yeah. their mind. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, superstition is everywhere. Okay. Okay? I read about a book, a baseball club in America, the coach put their, the, their sticks in a, in a wheelbarrow mm -hmm. and took them away mm -hmm. and brought them back and said he had taken them to a spiritualist, well-known spiritualist who had prayed over it mm -hmm. and said they were going to win. It was all psychological. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the psychological aspect immediately to me is fine. Yes. Let's go and let's look at the, 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 the mid-term and the long-term approach. Mm -hmm. This issue is endemic in our society, okay. in our system. Yeah. At the coast level, at the club level, I have experienced it. It's there. Yeah. It's there. It's there. It's there. Yeah. It's there. It's there. Yeah. You see, yeah. I've witnessed matches that players refuse to use the main gate. Mm -hmm. I remember House of Folk vividly. <laughs> House of Folk, Oko United, Shamokwe, and others. They told them that look, when you go to the main gate, you are finished. Uh, Shamokwe had to climb on the backs of of, of uh, supporters yes. and all that. Uh, somebody will say, I have to be the last person to enter yeah. the stadium yeah. and all yeah. that. Yeah. So it starts from mm. coast level. Yeah. I tell you what, my my. my experience i played a, a coast team you know i wasn't that a good player i was an average player coast team and before we went we went for the game we were put in a room mm. they lit candles and all that they said we'll they were French play, blah 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 mm. during that time i think my legs were tied and i kicked one of the candles and and, and it fell down <laughs> I think we, about 10, diagrams <laughs> were done. 10, 15 or 20 minutes, I got injured. You know what they said? Because I kicked the candle. And I kicked the candle. <laughs> so you see, right at the inf mm. your infant, inf yeah. infant stage, okay, the point you, are, you, are, you are indoctrinated. Yeah, but, but it's the reason we should level. disabuse yeah, so their I'm minds. Saying, because it's so senseless. That, what I'm saying is that, for me, it's so foolish. What I'm saying is that, but for me, anybody to believe that, did you play football? What I'm saying is so stupid. Yeah, but my friend is saying that young players on They say young players to go and sleep at the beach. At the cemetery yeah. and all that. So you're, what you're saying is, is immediate. Going forward, we need to start correcting all this. Before the guy grows up, no. this thing has become endemic. No, that's a valid point. It's become endemic yeah, in, in the way he does things. Because you're wondering so, so, these so players, where they play their trade abroad. Is that what happens there? See? No. So, Kogu, so is that what happens there? Kogu, you know, this thing goes back to what you said right from day one. If we can improve our domestic system, the coast football, develop them, I'll change the orientation, yes. yeah, make up everything, do grow with it. Because it is what you build in yeah. the in the in the guy at the local level that you yes. but if we change our system and try to let people understand it is ability and not some supernatural agent anywhere. Because I played football, I played course, and, and it was like if you don't get yourself involved in it, then you won't play. That's true. I've observed a situation where I was in a class of folk management where players refused to bath certain water, so those players were not allowed to play. Huh. You because the, according to the player, it's against his spiritual belief. Yeah. It's not the only because, one. No, because if I'm a Muslim and you bring a spiritualist who come to do certain things with Florida water and incense and things, and it's against my belief, I wouldn't do it. Yeah. Yeah. So it got to a time when the Muslims in the camp will do their own, and then the Christians who also do their own. To the extent that we got to them, we say, look, all this nonsense must stop. Yeah. House of Folk, at the beginning of the season, all of you, whether you are a Muslim or a Christian, yeah. we take you to a founding, founding father's house. We organize a session, we pray, and all those things. You know. Before any match, so, our father, we all go to the park and play. So, so those days, how are you getting the rainbow? You so, said so, the rainbow. Yeah, why yeah. do you see the rainbow? All, all, those, <laughs> things, <laughs> all those things are psychological. Yeah. The, as a folk, you, as soon as as a folk, you are going to play against as a folk, and then the, the weather changes and the rainbow comes, you yourself, you get defeated. Yeah, but, because but you know why I'm very worried about this <laughs> emphasis on Juju? Yeah. The reason I'm very, very worried about, apart from the fact that he's so stupid, in my opinion, the fact that the clubs spend so much money yes, I'm telling you, so on on so-called juju, so, so even at the national so level, it's not even only at the national level. level. Why, why the the player was growing? Uh, why why he was he was he was being nurtured by coaches at yeah. at, at whatever yeah. stage? Yeah. This thing is indoctrinated. Yeah. This is made up. Do, 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 do you realize that at, 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 at academy level, these things are changing gradually? No, no, because nobody will allow you. At to academy level, it's so, changing gradually. So, so yeah. that is why I said, let's look at some of these courses. Yeah. Tell the guy that look, even it's stated black and white in the Bible. God helps those who help themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, who look at our look, you see, look at our, the society. You see, we are we are behaving like these boys are 
are, are people from a different community, a different society. It's a microcosm of what is happening. No. People will go and people are, who are looking for jobs will go and spend the whole day in the church. In the, in the church, politicians. Look at, look at the churches we have in our mm. country during elections. Look at the church. No more. The, 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 the they out the time. Time. We're not talking <laughs> about politicians now. It doesn't matter. It, 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 it's a democratic society. It's but the critical part of our society. I'll just give. I'll just give our viewers. <laughs> Some it's, examples. It's, it's, That's it's all. Ridiculous. And, and every, you guys, every ten minutes, you guys find a church in China. Every ten, 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 ten minutes, minutes old enough to remember. Do you remember? Look at how corrupt we are. Do you remember when Hearts of Oak played an African Cup match, mm. and the Juju man told them, "Don't shake hands." Uh, so when the guy uh, comes uh, to shake. Yeah, uh, yeah. And the Kazama oh, says, uh, 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 the Do you remember then, the and I will put us in the pop. I know the rules. If I score, I will die. I did. <laughs> that was in 77. Yes. Uh, you, know, you know, as far back as 1969. Yeah. Okoro Stores. You know, yeah. in Kokoro, yeah, yeah, there are two teams. Okoro yeah. Stores, Kosu Super Bowl, and they later merged uh, to form Okoro United. United. Yeah. 69. You know, they were camping uh, or dressing up at the uh, Kouman Secondary School. Mm. And I was a very tiny boy following the team. And the captain of the, of the side, called Mutuwe, would put me in a room, light candles. And then the two will go to Siwayo Park, and I'll be in the room alone, alone to, to check the candle. Because the belief was that once the candle went yeah. off, it means the match was very tough. I should immediately light it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I've, I've had experience. I've slept in the cemetery before. I've bathed in water that's been used to bath dead bodies before. You understand? I've eaten certain things, swallowed certain things before. The worst part of it is one day we were given certain stones. To put in our boots, Cobra. Jesus Christ! By the time 50 minutes, you got blisters and sore, so you could not even wear the boot anymore. Your toes are swollen, so the ball comes where you can't even kick. <laughs> and they say that is going to win you a match. <laughs> but you see, Kwaku, the thing is so endemic as people say that. I have had a story, a situation whereby a player who was sent outside to France, wonderful player. He got to France because he would not be allowed to do those things in France. His football career ended. Because he has believed so much in those things. He thinks that without those things, there is no way he could play. Mm. Meanwhile, he was a gifted player. He had a talent. See, there's a situation where a player has been sacked from Italy because he was doubling in those things. And any time they have gone to dressing room to dress, he will be the last person to dress and come out because when all of them are going out, he has to put certain things in his body before he gets out. And he thought that there were cameras there and they got him. So now they try to find out what are these things. There has been a player was playing on the field in Belgium. Then all of a sudden, the talisman fell. Talisman mm. fell from his pocket. Mm. So he was trying to pick it. <laughs> and, and a goal was scored. <laughs> the goalkeeper. Was he a goalkeeper? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm see, sorry I'm laughing, but I really have to end. No, we, we, are, we overdo it. Yeah. We overdo it yeah. here. Yeah. And we think. I've kept, I've kept we think God, the thing is that God helps those who help themselves. Okay, Even I'm, if you are praying, people. do your bit. How many man, man, children of Malans could we assemble? And put Jesse on them to go and beat Liverpool. No, when okay. I'm going go for it, these are hosts. They're not allowing you. They're not allowing you. I'm not allowing you. Okay. End the show. All right. Continue on the street. Yeah, to I, continue. Just, I just <laughs> sincerely want to thank Dr. Kukuo Fuswasari, the chairperson, the, sorry, the official title, executive chairman yeah. of the local organizing committee of mm. Accra. 2023. Mm. I want to thank the Honorable Ni Andapoy, the MP for the Ododododio constituency in Greater Accra. I want to thank the President of SWAG and the host of Sports Highlights, Mr. Kwabno for coming the, 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 the most venerable Kwabno Yabwa. Okay, the most venerable. The man, is, the man, the man sits on two boards, <laughs> as he said. <laughs> the, the, the man sits on two boards. There are so many I will then I don't sit on two boards. Thank, um, he's gone on retirement, but it's the seasoned veteran sports writer, Mr. Kembediaku, 